So I never heard this before, but essentially, so the item that we want, the cabinet that we wanted, it had the yellow tag of like, you need to contact staff if you want to get this item. So we contact staff, took a while, took a while, because the guy, the guy, he was new. He didn't know what he was doing. So we're just there waiting, which honestly I don't mind because we were that early anyway. Essentially, we had to pick it up at a different warehouse and I did not know Ikea did that. We are going to be on our way to pick it up at the other warehouse, which is like three minutes away, which is, which is fine. <laughs> so hungry this is the first i'm gonna unbutton my chair oh my god that hurts i'm gonna unbutton my might as well eat unbuttoned so i've got some noodles first thing i'm eating today and it's like what half one i am hungry because i'm the kind of person that you i have to eat breakfast so i just got back from picking up the cabinets i just bought some oh my god but i just bought some extra tools and stuff because he is actually doing his desk building it himself diy you know when you're so hungry and you finally eat like it just makes the food taste like so much better now that i've had a bite to eat i'm gonna do a little a little uh what i got from ikea i wanted to buy a bit more to be fair but then i ended up paying stuff back because i was just like do i really need this since going into this house i've become just very picky in what i'm buying i would like a lot more storage and because i don't have a lot more storage then i'm more like do i need this or where can i put this if i don't really need this what we got from ikea this is a base that we're gonna put on the dining table. We're gonna put some nice, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe put some like dry flowers. I've been seeing them everywhere. I've got this container. This was like 50 piece. Essentially, I just want somewhere to put like the, those little press and seal things. Them little things that you just close things with. I just don't have anywhere to put them. So I just want this. It's just like a little container so I can put it in that. Also just the other stuff I've got is just all storage containers. So Baz is always telling me, get rid of the plastic. Because Baz is always hearing about like how bad plastic is and all that stuff. And to be fair, it's true. So, no plastic. Eventually what I want to do is just like switch out all, because we've got quite a bit of storage containers from like the flat and stuff. Eventually I just want to switch them all out to like glass. So we've got these, these sound great by the way, oven safe. You can put them in the freezer, in the microwave, in the oh. oven, in the whatever. Yeah. They're like heat, heat, what are they called? Heat, 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 resistant. heat resistant glass, which is great. So I can put like, I don't know, I'll put this in the oven, then I can put this in the fridge. And then I've got like these bamboo lids. Oh, how nice is this? So nice. Tell me why, why is the lid more expensive than the, the glass? That's the haul from Ikea. So essentially, Baz is building his um, own standing desk for his room. He got some worktop wood from somewhere online. I don't know where he got it from, but he got something. He's going to cut it down and then he's going to make his own standing desk. The one that goes like, press the button, goes up, press the button, goes down. So we were out this morning and then he got a call saying, we're going to be there in like half an hour. So we're like, oh, we got to go home. That's the reason why we're home. Honestly, I'm glad because I got to eat, but I actually haven't seen it yet. Dun, 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 dun. Worktop, the kind of worktop that you put in your kitchen. So it's like proper, proper solid wood. What kind of wood is this? Beach, Beach wood. With this, Baz is gonna cut us. We uh, we were out earlier. We were buying like little tools and stuff like that for Baz to like, just cut this to size. Cause this is three meters, and he is your room is not three meters long. Baz got this as well. The the longest extension cord I've ever seen. Like. Do you, do you need this many plugs? No. This will be underneath it. We're still waiting for the legs, all that kind of stuff. So I think the main thing for Baz right now is just to cut this, right? So you cut it, you want to stain it, you want to sand it, you want to varnish it, you want to polish it, you want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to build the mirrored cabinets, the bathroom cabinets as well. So exciting stuff. <laughs> Why does Ikea do this? I don't know. Ikea, you've been a problem today. I did bathroom cabinets. 
They don't come with screws, so you can put it on the wall. Why Why do you not come with screws so you can put it up on the wall? So that is a problem. Luckily, it's like 6.20 right now and like things are still open, but like things are slowly closing right now. So we're like, oh my God, let's rush out. Let's get some screws. Let's get whatever we need to screw it into the wall. Like at least if you're not going to provide the screws, please do tell us that you are not gonna provide the screws that we can buy the screws. Right now, right outside of Wix. Baz is already inside, oh my God, what am I doing sitting in here? Just chilling. Okay, so I'm gonna go into it as well and we're just gonna get the screws and then we're gonna continue with the cabinet that has just been a nightmare of a cabinet. To be fair, it's not really much of a nightmare of a cabinet, it's just been a little bit difficult. Ikea is being a little bit difficult. <sighs> So we're currently looking at shelf brackets because the thing is we want to do shelving in our cupboard we've just been delaying it for no reason we just <laughs> can't be asked or we're busy people looking at the brackets for the shelves honestly i don't know much about diy so i'm just here you put this on the wall and then Someone out looking at what is this? wood varnish, wood stains, wood all this wood stuff. I'm clueless. I'm just here. Sweet, so you are placed in the shower. I'll show you the cabinet the next day where it's like kind of daylight. You can see it, maybe like you can see a lot better. I don't know, but this is the cabinet, so I'm so excited to actually like fill it up and everything. But oh my god, oh my god! As you can see, the cabinet is a little bit higher than it probably should have been. So as you can see, there's a big gap here. There's not a big gap up there. Not that it's out of place, but it just looks like it's higher than it probably should have been. Going up, we came to this issue. We always have issues, you know. And the, the issue with this is that. So honestly, I'm probably the worst person to ask, and um. I know like a little bit, but just not, not enough to explain it very like properly. So the reason why we got this cabinet, as you can see, it fits perfectly. Like, especially if you put it like proper centered and everything, that is exactly how I wanted it. However, the way the wall is built it is quite hollow. <laughs> so the thing is with a hollow wall, with this cabinet here, with hanging something in here, which is gonna have added weight to it because of all the stuff that we're gonna put in there. It was not the best idea to hang the nails in where it's hollow. So essentially we had to put it a bit higher where it was like not hollow, I guess. So without further ado, never ever have been able to like put out all my skincare and this is actually like uh. so i love the two top shelves i don't know what i'm gonna do with the top shelves yet but i do know that i do have more skincare that is just not in this house so maybe that's just gonna be like more skincare but oh my god this looks luxury it's actually been three months and we have not had a mirror in the bathroom so i've been blindly brushing my teeth i've been blindly doing my skincare all of that like to finally have this 